Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 11.5 of my Let's Play of Momus Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Obviously this is an alias aside, because there's an important game... Well, maybe it's not an important gameplay change, but it's a gameplay change, so I need to show it to you. We're entering Grand Gold Castle down here to see what's going on. So far, so good. Everything's the same. An ant girl comes up. Luca fools her. Alright. Everything's in order. Ah, Lime's in this party. She's kind of cute after all. So the plan's the same here. I do want to observe that the battle fuckers in both God I'll end here in Grand Gold Town won't let you into their houses until you fix the Grand Gold problem. But whatever. That's too bad, isn't it? Isn't it, huh? Sonia still doesn't like that Luca participates in that. Anyway. Hmm. I don't recall. He looks having anything special by way of difference in this conversation. <laughs> Actually, I could be in trouble because the final battle with Lilith, I lost two out of three times in my trial run. And I try to prevent doing that kind of thing in these live runs. Maybe I'll just run the whole thing and if I fail, I'll start over. One in three ain't bad odds. Especially if I can run through here in like five minutes or less. Oh look, King Grangold. Same story here. I was rather expecting Elias to butt in at some point and say it's all right if Ross Alra and Marlin die, but she doesn't actually say that. Maybe once they become our allies, she actually feels the slightest bit of compassion for them. Oh, here we are. You're the Queen Ant, aren't you? So, who are you guys? You don't seem to be from this country. No. Oh. In this party I also have Miria, the Queen Bee. Oh, and why are you here? Queen Bee, what's going on here? And why are you here? Neither of them answer each other. Alright, we don't know what you're doing in there, but we're going to cut off you from your evil deeds. Uh, don't you think this is odd? Maybe we should listen to her. If it's a story we're talking about, we can listen to it after we've beaten her up. Prepare yourself, Queen of Ants. Man, it's really hard getting it through to you in a conversation. Well, can't be helped. Let's burn you out. Uh, but, you know, these bars are locked and all. Wow. So, with Elias and Queen Ant attacking from both sides, the door opens. Alright, here we go. We're going to squish you like an ant. Well, I'm going to defeat you and then I'm going to... And then you're going to listen to what I have to say. Well, this is basically the opposite of the usual thing. Well... Nothing else to do, let's go. So here's our gameplay change. If you have Elias, you fight the Queen Ant as you pass. Yeah, Lucas still has 150 hit, hit points. Oh, how regrettable. She's been imprisoned. Her daughters have been stolen from her, and now she's being beaten up. 
As expected, she was imprisoned here. Maybe we should listen to her circumstances. Wait, what's going on here? You're the one who brainwashed the king and did all this bad stuff, right? Oh, I see. Now I see what's going on outside. So, now she cuts back to the stuff you would have... You heard in the Alice portion. Yes, it's actually the Lilith sisters. Um, of course, I knew that. I am omniscient after all. Of course I knew. Helias, you're a bad liar. Huh. So the villain isn't Queen Ant, but the succubus of Lilith. Yep, she's nothing more than a victim here as well. Yeah, furthermore, we had our fight, but the bars closed up again. Jeez, how lame. This magically controlled stuff is such a pain in the ass. Well, it's actually convenient. After all, she's pretty much powerless after being defeated here. So, she'll leave everything to you. And once we've beaten Lilith, she can stop her people immediately. Well, if Lilith is here, then her two little sisters will be here as well. We get to fight the three little sisters. Okay, just wait here, Queen Ant. Hmm, well, this isn't a difference, since the other party has no bearing on the plot, really. But, Alice at least is not as pathetic as Elias when she's captured. So she says, We've successfully infiltrated Grand Gold Castle. Have you learned nothing? Well, this happened before in Gold Fort. Alice and crew got captured and said, We've infiltrated Gold Fort successfully. Yeah, that's a fine way of infiltration. But it keeps working, I guess. Usako says she wants to eat a carrot. M Mof Mofuyu wants some fried tofu. Geez, these guys are kind of pathetic. Anyway, we can't open these from the outside. Well, even if we had a key, we wouldn't open it either. You damn filthy goddess! What do you mean, filthy? Even though you're a mao. You goddess, goddess! Neener, neener, mao, mao. Are these actually insults? Mooga just shakes his head. These girls are even lower than the students at Mephisto's Academy. Yeah, those are pretty young girls, too. Oh, here we go. Alice is saying that she believes in the light of this world. And in the hope that you, the goddess, have turned your back on. How foolish. In that case, I will take that hope and steal it away and destroy it. Along with everything on the surface of this earth, be destroyed. It's like whenever the two of them talk, it's like a final confrontation with the last boss. Sonia says, Come on, let's go. You can just stay there and there and rot. Ha! A prison like this, she can break out of on her own power. Man, she is obstinate. Well, that's what we love about her, right? Well, among other things. Oh, it's all my Alma. This conversation is basically the same. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's almost exactly the same, except... Elias's fashion of speaking is slightly different from Alice's form of speaking.
Oh yes, yeah, so Helios actually does say that when Alma Alma says that it might not just be Lilith ahead, that someone else is also giving power to it, Helios said that this isn't exactly the work of a succubus. It doesn't have the same feel to it. It's true. The Lilith sisters are definitely outside of the ordinary, but to, dis to suppress an entire country like this... Actually, it feels like somewhere in her memories she's felt something similar. Hmm. It's odd that she isn't able to remember. So, well, anyway, we're continuing onward in the face of uncertainty and a uh, two-thirds chance of dying. This cutscene is the same. Alright. The throne is before us. You know, recently I realized that this castle is basically just a prison with a throne room in it. All we did was wander through a bunch of cells, a couple floors of them, talk to some prisoners, and here we are at the throne room. There's nothing else in here. They don't even have a kitchen. What kind of a castle doesn't have a kitchen in it? Alright. Same stuff here. Oh. Tatsu goes in our party. The Marines will not forgive your lawless activity. Ha. Oh. Now Lilith confesses that she's not the one doing it. In that case, who is it? Oh, you forget things quite violently, Elias. Have you forgotten what I've destroyed in the past? No way. The villain this time is... Did you forget the number of countries I've broken? Did you forget the screams of the people I've consumed? Oh man, this must be a bad guy. So, time I'm all. Helios is perceptive enough to see that this isn't the time of all we know. No way, you're from another world like the Seraphim. Well, so that's the story so far. And Tamomo is going to kill us. Oh, Caesar got an attack off. Wait, did Tamamo not attack? Hmm. Nope. She waited till the last to attack for some reason. Whatever. As expected, we can't win. <laughs> Not with Elias in her body right now. In her sealed body. Nanzo, morigate oruyoja no. Ha ha ha. Everybody loves Tamamo. Yeah, anyway. Nothing more to say here. Elias is... Hasn't got anything remaining really important. Well, win or lose, this is going to be the end. If I lose, well... Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, there it is. It says I lost. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.